be a video on how to make a leather choker. Someone saw this choker here in the video and asked me would I do a video on how to make this, this choker here. So I decided to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to show you how to make this choker. Uh, right. Okay, now this, this choker is, is very uh, simple to make. You can probably, uh, well, you can make this without stitching it. If you use contact cement uh, glue, it will hold much better than the uh, craft uh, cement glue. But I think you can do it with both of them, especially if you edge coat it and then seal it with the uh, Mod Pod, which will keep it together. But you can make this without sewing. So I'm going to show you how to make this. Now, this pattern, this is the pattern here. Now, we did not come up with this pattern. This is a pattern that came from McCall's uh, Make It Crafty uh, pattern. It is uh, pattern number M6048. And I'm quite sure you can go online and, and find this this particular pattern, and it have different types of uh, patterns in here. It have this one, but it also have uh, look like three other, four other chokers. It have a couple of cuffs and some brooches that you can make. But uh, I'll show you how, how to make this. Very simple. It's, it's the same process as making a, a wristband or a watch band. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and make this. Okay, what I'm going to do is use, this is a very thin piece of uh, leather. It's a uh, patent leather, but it's very thin. And I'm just going to trace it out. Now I'm going to cut it out. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to just cut it away from the hide so I'm not trying to work with the whole piece of hide. Okay, now that I have this cut out, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just glue it to a secondary piece of leather. This is very thin also. So what I'll do, I'll take my pattern I will lay it down, and it's just this. What I'm tracing out right now is only for the outline for gluing. So when I'm gluing, I know where I need to glue. Not so much I'm going to cut it out and try to put both of them, glue the two of them together. I'll glue it first and then cut it out. And I'm going to use the the Leathercraft 
cement glue, which is the water-based glue. dry for a couple of minutes and that's how simple this is. I'll let it dry for a couple of minutes, cut it out, edge coat it, sew it, and really it's done. I mean that's how simple doing this making this choker. Okay now that we have it glued together I'm just going to cut it out away from the hide so I'm not trying to work with the whole hide. I'm just going to trim this out. One thing you want to make sure that when you trim it out, you want to make sure that you cannot see the overlapping of your secondary and your primary. Okay, now that we have this cut out, now we're going to edge coat it. And after we edge coat it and put the Mod Pod on, well then I'm going to sew it. But like I say, once you do that, you don't have to uh, sew it. But if you don't sew it, you, you may want to put you some type of embellishment around it to make sure that uh, the two pieces stay together. But we're going to edge coat now. dry for about five minutes and then we will sew it. Okay now that we have it glued together did our Mod Pod and edge coat and I'm going to go ahead and sew it.
Okay, now that we have a song, really, this choker is finished. Only thing I need to do now is put the uh, the chain on or whatever we're going to use to close it. I mean, to wear it around the neck. And if you want to embellish it, you can embellish it. But really, this is it. This is the choker. Okay, now that we have uh, stitched the, the choker, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to put a chain on, and you can, you can use whatever you want to use. You can actually use a piece of leather and tie it. But uh, what we're going to do, we're going to use some change. We'll use a chain that, uh, uh, let's see here. The, the silver and we can also make it to where it have a, a clasp on it that opens and closes or we can just make it to where it's just one size so it, it depends on what what you want to do but this this process here is very simple all we're going to do is, is, is punch a hole like we did here, put a ring in, and then attach the chain. Now the other thing we're going to do is we're going to embellish it. These are dome-shaped rivets, and we'll just come up with whatever type of design that we want to put on there. We'll make it simple, but uh, just to give it a look. And again, this is you don't even have to embellish it, but just to show you the process of making this choker. Okay, what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and punch the hole where we're going to put our ring, our jump ring. So we'll just punch a hole here. And we'll put one here. And this is where we will put the jump ring. The jump ring, we purchase ours at uh, Hobby Lobby. You can get them at Michael's. Um, they come in different sizes. So you can choose what size that you think works for you. What is this? This is a 12 millimeter. So it's it's a nice size ring. It's not too small. And we have our two rings now. The other thing is that when you open these rings, what happens is that a lot of people think that you should open them like this. But when you try to close them back, they won't close back uh, the same way uh, that they were, which was very close together. So what you have to do is that you actually take the ring and you just turn one hand one way in one direction, the other hand in the other direction. So what I will do is that I will take the two needle nose pliers and I'll just turn one hand one way, one the other way. So when I want to close it, I just do it in reverse and it'll close back the same way to where that gap is not open. It's flush together. So what I'll do, I will put the jump ring on. I will put my chain on, close it, and make sure it's flush together. I will close it 
But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my chain to where I can have two pieces so I can put the, the clasp on it. So what I'll do, I'll find the link in the chain to where it's open, well, where it's, uh, it's separated. Most of these chains have a separation and all you have to do just turn it like that and open up one of the links so I have to take off a second link because this this chain is double is double linked so I have to take both of the links off and see how that separates the chain and then what I would do, I would take the other end put my put my ring on open up my ring put the other end So now what I will do, I will cut this chain on this side so I have to cut, well, I have to take two links off in order to take the chain apart. So I just look for that, that place in the link that shows that that's where it was put together. I'll open it up. Then I'll take the second link. Sometimes it's kind of hard to find which which end will open up because it's, it is so close together. So what I will do I will put my closure on and close my link back up Now that's my my closure. And that's it. That is the the choker. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to embellish it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it over on the back side because this side here would take an imprint much better than the front side. So I'm just going to determine where I want to put my, dome shaped rivets. I know that my larger ones, I want to put them here, and then what I'll do, I'll put smaller ones around the outside of the of the choker. So what I'll do.
I just kind of determine, and you can use a ruler to place them. I'm just going to do it by eye. So I think this is the way I'm going to do it. I'll do one side and then I'll do the other side. Okay, what I'll do now, I'll start marking. You know, one thing I just realized is that this choker can become reversible. And I'll show you what I'm talking about when I'm finished with it. But I'll just go ahead. and start to mark this Now I'll punch my holes.
Okay, now what I will do, I will put my rivets in from the back side. Now we'll put the dome shape on. close them I'm using a, uh, a large dome shape setter and I have a small dome shape setter which is for the small one this is for the large one Okay, this is it. This is the choker that just have a primary and a secondary piece of leather. And this is what I meant by when I say it can be reversible. So you can wear it on both sides. Wipe that off. So you can wear it on, on both sides. So if you want to wear it like this, on this side, or you can wear it on this side. So um, I hope this was some help to you. I will do a video on on earrings. Uh, and, and probably the next five videos that I do will be for those that do not have sewing machines and that are looking to make some type of uh, products that they do not have to sew. Uh, so, so for the next five videos, I think that's what I, I would do is produce videos that will help those that do not have sewing machines. And if you have not subscribed, please do and pass it on to someone else that you know that may be interested in uh, learning what, what we are teaching. And again, thank you for watching.